With the recent addition of blend shape support, Cascader now opens up the possibility of facial motion capture. And the best part is that you can try out this workflow completely for free. Only if you want to export your animation, you will need a pro or an indie subscription to Cascader. In this video, I will show you how to get started using AR create blend shapes to create facial animations just like the one you are seeing right now. But first, we will need to cover some technical details about how this method works. There are a lot of ways to approach facial motion capture. The most common ways rely on blend shapes and probably the most popular method is using Apple's ARKit blend shapes that I mentioned before. ARKit provides 52 predefined blend shapes that cover the most important facial expressions. And the first step would be to get a model that has these 52 blend shapes. You can create them manually or use add-ons for software like like Blender, Maya or anything else. I will leave links in the description for some useful resources. But for this demo, I'm using the Genesis A.1 Das character because it already includes these blend shapes. Only the eye movement doesn't seem to work with these blend shapes, but if you are setting it up for yourself, the eye tracking should also work. If you are also using Das, make sure to select the morph targets during export. For the rest of the export settings, just follow Cascada's recommendations. Once your model is imported into Cascada, you can and use the quick rigging tool to create a basic rig. You can get an example DAS model, not exactly this one because the file size on this one would be too big. And also the add-on and the commands and links also will be on the GitHub repo that is linked in the description. We can now select the mesh to verify that it has the correct blend shapes with the right naming convention. The prefix doesn't matter. The only thing that's important that the blend shape in includes the proper ARKit blend shape in its name. I would also recommend to create a new animation track that contains your meshes, so you can work on the body animation independently from the facial animation. Now that our model is ready, let's install everything we need for the facial motion capture. First download the landmark link, which is a lightweight Python app that uses the MediaPipe module to convert video into a CSV file and this CSV file will contain the ARKit blend shape weights for each frame. Once you have downloaded the zip file, extract it to a folder on your PC. Keep in mind that this software only works on Windows, though it could be adapted for Linux or macOS with some modification to the source code. The raw data that this app outputs often contains noise and jitters, so we will need to smooth it out before applying to our model and for this we will need to install a Python module for Cascader that we can use for smoothing the animation data. For this we first need to install Python you can download the latest version of Python from the official website. When you install it, make sure to check the Add Python to Pets uh, checkbox, but otherwise the installation is straightforward. When Python is installed, you can use the built-in package manager pip to install SciPy or Skippy or the scientific Python module. Copy the command from GitHub and paste it into a command prompt. Here the target parameter is is where you will download this module. You can try to download it to your site packages folder inside your Cascader install folder, but in my case when I run it there will be an error that I don't have permission to save files into this folder. I could run cmd as an admin, but I found that in that case Cascader cannot access the install python modules, so I rather change the target path to a folder that I have full access. And once it's downloaded I can manually copy the downloaded module and paste it into Cascader site packages folder and override the existing NumPy module. If you could install directly into Cascader install folder, obviously you don't have to copy paste it manually. We have one final step remaining for the installation before we can test out the workflow. Download the load shape key CSV Python script from GitHub. This is the code that will import the CSV and smooth out the animation. You need to copy this file into your commands folder, so to Cascada, Resources, Scripts, Python, Commands. 
And after restarting Cascada, you should see a new command called import facial mocap CSV. With everything set up, let's see how to use it. First of all, you will need a video that you have either recorded or downloaded. And the video frame rate should match the frame rate you have set in your Cascader scene. And to convert this video to the CSV, launch the landmark link executable and a command prompt will appear asking you if you want head tracking first. You can say yes, but this data won't be used. It will also ask if you want on symmetric eye tracking. This will track only one eye and apply the same motion to the other one. In case of desk characters, there is no eye movement shape keys, so this option doesn't matter in this case. Then you can select the video file and the program will start analyzing the facial landmark. You will see if the face is correctly recognized throughout the video and you can already see a little bit of jitter if you look closely. Once the analysis is complete, a new CSV file will be created in the same folder as your video file. Now we can switch to Cascader and select your model that has the shape keys and use the import facial mocap CSV command to import this CSV file. When you select the existing CSV file, it will ask whether you want to override the existing file. Just say yes, this won't actually override the file, it's just how this dialog works in Cascader. And next it will ask about the smoothing settings. I will explain these in a bit more detail soon, but the default value should work well for most cases. Depending on the length of your animation and the strength of the smoothing, it may take a few moments to apply the blend shape weight. If your model consists of multiple meshes, like in this case we have a separate meshes for the eyelashes and also for the, I guess, Conjunctiva, conjunctiva, conjunctiva. You will need to repeat this process for each mesh, so select it and then import the CSV file. But make sure to use the same smoothing settings for consistency, although Cascader should remember the last values you used. So you can also work with images. In this case, the CSV file will contain only one row of values. And since there is only one frame, you cannot apply smoothing. So it would throw an error with the default settings. So you would need to set the window length to one to look at only one frame. And this means you need to lower the polynomial order to zero to avoid any smoothing. I won't go deep into the smoothing settings since I'm still learning about them myself, but here is a quick overview. The window length is basically the number of frames the filter considers at a time. For example, if you set it to 5, it will look at the current frame plus minus 2 frames. It then tries to fit a smooth polynomial curve across these 5 points. If the window length is too long compared to your frame rate, the animation might feel floaty or too smooth. But if it's too short or the polynomial order is too high, you won't get enough smoothing. I found that for 24 or 30 FPS, the default setting should work fine. But you can bump up the window length up to 9 for a bit more smoothing. If you are working with higher frame rates, you might want to increase the window length even more for better results. What do you guys Thing. Obviously it's not perfect, but for a such a simple and free solution, I think it's good enough. Would you be able to use it in your projects? Of course, if you want to export your animation, you would need an Indie or Pro subscription. If you decide to get one, please consider using my affiliate link. It will not only support my channel, but if you use my promo code, you would also get 15% discount. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments.